The biggest percentage of Karimajong depend on food aid to survive in the semi-arid area often battered by drought. Many of them prefer to live a nomadic lifestyle as they roam with their cattle to look for pasture and water sources. Children that stay at home without learning have been rushing to schools to share meals given out freely. These communities often depend on food donated by relief agencies. Reports are emerging that some locals were recently hospitalized after eating food distributed by World Food Program. By Monday morning, the number of those affected had risen across the health centers where the sick were rushed. I think yesterday, the number reached 140. So now I think, uh, as you see the unit, very well One of them one was a referral and one death in Because about 95 people are currently admitted in various health centers and they were presenting with mental confusion, severe stomachache, fever and headache, which are symptoms of uh, suspected food poisoning. The Minister for Karamoja Affairs, John Biabagambi, and officials from the World Food Program have pitched camp in Napak and Amdat districts. We have never got such an incident. So this is one incident in 40 years. And even the incident has affected only two districts, not the whole country, because they are distributing this food almost in the whole country, including the refugee camps are everywhere. We do not want to have uh, any possibility that we do harm to anyone in the world. And as a result of that, we have agreed to suspend and pull it out. The WFP country director says the food they distributed is of good standard. Super cereal fortified food is distributed in Uganda, majorly in form of porridge, and it's served to mothers and children. The instinct has raised questions of the country's gatekeeping on products that are imported. Police are investigating the circumstances under which the food was brought into the country. And ENBS has been testing this food. And you should know that when you are testing this food, you don't test every gram of that food. You pull out samples. If it is established that there was poisonous bacteria uh, in the food and it was dangerous for human consumption, then definitely we shall uh, expand our investigations to find out whether the whole batch which came from Turkey uh, is actually adulterated or not. WFP has suspended the distribution of this type of food, leaving its beneficiaries on the verge of starvation. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.